Today I'm going to show you guys how I've rooted hundreds of fig trees. But here we got an LSU purple fig. So you want to get a four inch long piece, maybe six to up to six, eight inches at the most. Uh, even a smaller piece will do. You want to make sure to at least get three nodes, but usually four or five nodes would be better. This one isn't as defined, but on this one, you see all the little indentations. That's the nodes where the leaves or the fruits will come out. So even this small piece, I bet it'll root. Uh, so even without the rooting powder on there, you would just stick it in uh, or with a longer piece. I've had them root very easily. It's good to take the leaves off. That definitely helps. And the big thing is perlite, perlite, perlite. That stuff, uh, you still got to keep watering it, but it helps keep you from overwatering. So what I got right here mix coconut coir perlite I added some vermiculite but that's optional and the vermiculite really helps avoid compaction and it helps store nutrients it could be a good thing but the perlite helps regulate the water and help you not drown them right here I've got some figs that I did before put a lot in the ground Here's another one. You want to make sure to store it in the shade. See here, I got my cuttings. In the shade outside when it's warm. And that stuff turns, it'll turn light brown if it's underwater. It'll change colors. A little bit see some of this well that's a different dirt but um, so you want to make sure to keep it watered but don't overwater it but you don't have to worry so much if you've got that perlite without overwatering so right here this one doesn't have perlite in it and I've had less luck but it's still rooted that's just regular potting soil it, so it can work with regular potting soil here's some different Things. I hope you guys learned something. Have a good one.